Okay, so this is going to be a very quick follow-on from the previous tip. And so really it's continuing with our body text paragraph style and we're going to make another change. What I want to do is wherever there's a digit or a figure used throughout the text, I want to change the appearance of that. Now I happen to be using an open type font, Mignon Pro, or any font that ends on Pro is an open type font. It's actually an Adobe open type font, and the Pro indicates that it will have some added open type specific features applied to it. And what I want to do is just have a look at what open type features are available. I'm going to the control panel menu here in the top right hand corner, and under open type, I can now see what features are available. Any features that are listed between the square brackets are basically not included in this particular font. But what is included here is the option to change my figures into proportional old style figures. And I really like that. I like to um, make them look a little bit smaller, um, their position slightly different, like you will see uh, things like numbers, number three, the bottom of the three will sort of sit slightly below the baseline. But because they're part of more continuous text and not used in a tabular format where they might need to be lined up, I, I just like to stick to the proportional old style version. And I've just changed that here for this number six so that I can create a new paragraph style, a new character style right here, because obviously that character style is going to be part of our grab style. And I'm just going to call it, I can't type, no that's not what I'm going to call it, proportional alt style. Notice that it's only picking up the proportional alt style change that I've applied to that figure. Why? Because I had a paragraph style applied to this paragraph already, so it will only include in the style settings any attributes that are other that are different that differentiate from the paragraph style itself. I don't necessarily need to apply the style to the selection because we are going to build this into our grab style. Click OK. And I'm just going back to our paragraph style now. The plus here again indicates that there's a style overwrite. I will remove that overwrite so that we get our clean paragraph style applied again and I'll right click the body text and edit that and go back to our grab styles and now include our second grab style. Again, the character style that I want to apply is going to be proportional old style. And as you can see, when I hit the preview on and off, it automatically works. Why does it work? Well, this default code that InDesign inserts, when you insert a new grab style, this default expression actually means any digit so it's a wildcard, any digit, applied one or more times. I'll just show you again how to build that up here by clicking the menu here. First of all, you choose the wildcard because you don't know, you know which digit it is. It can be a 1, a 2, 3 or 4, so it can be any digit, so we'll pick any digit. And then Grab needs to know how many occurrences of that particular digit it's allowed to see in its pattern. Now you don't know how big the numbers are going to be. It could be a single digit number, it could be a double digit number. So really we're going to set the repeat to one or more times because obviously if there's no digit then you don't want to do anything to it. And you can see that actually builds that expression right there. Click OK and we are done once again. Now if you don't happen to be using an open type font, then go and buy open type fonts. Okay, obviously you might not have the money for that, but look, open type fonts, if you love, love typography, are just fantastic. There are so many added features and bonuses included in these fonts that will give you the ability to, to typographically build some really nice um, documents. But okay, in all honesty, if you don't have an open type font, you can still create a character style that changes the formatting of your figures. You might want to make them a little bit smaller. Create a character style that just makes them a little bit smaller and make that the character style that you apply instead of the proportional old style because um, that might not be available in the font that you're using. Okay, well I'll see you for the next tip. Take care.